The Department of Defense has a new way of helping troops who have lost a limb. A prosthetic is attached to your body and moves like a real one. And this new technology was perfected in part right here. For six years, medical reporter Mike Ferris has been following the first person in the U.S. to get a working 3D printed thumb. Imagine being a military veteran and losing an arm or leg in combat. Now imagine after that life-changing injury, the U.S. Department of Defense says its latest research can help make you whole. There are a lot of wounded warriors that could benefit from the technology in, in many different areas, so not just the leg, but arms. For 33 years, Integrum in Sweden has been working on that type of technology. It started with a father's idea of a dental implant in the 60s, anchoring a metal rod solidly into the jawbone, then snapping the porcelain tooth on. So his son thought the same process could be used for limbs. It got the attention of the DOD, which brought a clinical trial to Southeast Louisiana. As a little boy on the family farm, Jackson Kaplis helped his dad fix tractors and re-engineered toy cars to go faster. But he could have never imagined he'd become the bionic mechanic, the first in the U.S. to get a 3D printed body part. It all started on the job in Port Fouchon. We were just fixing a, a piece of equipment and a pin sheared off. And the piece of equipment weighs 56,000 pounds, fell on top of my thumb. And when that happened, we didn't have a piece of equipment big enough to get it off. So I stayed underneath it for 34 minutes. He was airlifted to University Medical Center in New Orleans. That's the time when I realized, well, there goes my life. Cause that's all I knew was mechanics. And now I don't have a thumb. You got to have it to be a mechanic. It's what he loved and was his livelihood. His new work was nearly half the salary. He lost his home. A friend took his family of five into his home. What did that do to your lifestyle, Jackson? It wasn't easy. Times were tough. Do what you gotta do. And you gotta do it like that. You ain't gonna, I can't do it. The simple daily things we take for granted became difficult. But then Jackson got life-changing news. Metairie hand surgeon Dr. Eric George was chosen to perform the first surgery of its kind in the U.S. to give Jackson a working, gripping thumb back, not just one for cosmetics. His mother Mary sits nervously in the waiting room. I just want it to be the first successful transplant in the United States. Um, I want, at. I want his dreams to come true. In 2017, we got okay. to scrub into the OR to document this pioneering surgery. You can cut it. An international medical team is gathered. The thumb bone is drilled yeah, you can do that. Okay. If you're good. so the metal rod can be permanently inserted. Every angle has to be precise. Constant measurements are taken by fluoroscope. Doctors check the tension of the metal rod over and over again. After about two hours, with two dozen people here in the OR, our patient now has a permanent implant so he can have a thumb for the rest of his life. 15. Come on, dude. You're dropping off. Come on. This is getting hard. <laughs> As weeks go by, Jackson now has a temporary thumb and is in physical rehab to make his hand muscles stronger. Remember, his goal is to get a strong grip back so he can work as a mechanic again. Later, as Jackson moves to Colorado, he's feeling whole and working again. His new thumb is printed with his favorite team logo. Roll Tide! It can come on and off. A lesson learned when he ordered a drink at a drive through I didn't have my thumb on it. I thought I did and went to grip it and whoop, straight out the bottom. Today he works as an auto mechanic in Little Rock. He has two 3D printed thumbs, that Alabama one and a plain one for work. They're made of hard plastic, not metal, since he works around high voltage. His boss says he's one of the best mechanics he's ever seen, but nothing makes him more at peace than his family, his dogs, and being able to grip the handlebars of his motorcycle. Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. What an incredible story.
In the U.S., this is only FDA approved for leg amputees, and the research is continuing at big university surgical centers into it. Well, that is an incredible story.